Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming, and some of you know me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. As you can see, today I'm coming at you with a new Let's Play visual novel series on Roads Yet Traveled. This looks to be a little sci-fi inspired, and I'm very much looking forward to that. So y'all, without further ado, I know nothing about this game other than the brief description that I read about it, so let's go ahead and jump right in, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Alright. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's see where this wild game takes. I don't even know if the game's wild. It could be pretty mild. Who knows? Do you think you can change the world? No matter who you are, you can only do so much. You have so little time to make a difference. Even finding a road worth traveling can be hard. It can look winding, erratic, endless. Sometimes it makes more sense to never even start. They say taking the first step is the hardest part. I can't count how many first steps I've taken. Maybe these steps wouldn't be so hard if I had slept last night. I mean, come on! What kind of pompous-ass professor assigns these kinds of questions before the first day of class? I barely moved into this guy wants ten pages. Gah! Well, I'll have to make it up to him later. Maybe I'll have time to scrape something together between classes. Even if I make it to- if, he, if I even make it to class, where the fuck am I? Taking a look around, I realize I might have gone the wrong way. I pull out the brochure I got during orientation to check. Looking at the well-illustrated but poorly designed map of my new campus, I've noticed a- I notice a- I notice I've passed some vertig- Some vertigris ridden statue. I wonder if it's supposed to be one of the founders or just some rich graduate who donated not to be memorialized. I don't want to go check, though, as, as it's surrounded by freshmen right now. If I had to guess from there, I'd think it's just some graduate. Hm. What do you think you're so good for? You think yourself to be good? To be a god? Immortalized in bronze? Better, uh, too bad he didn't bronze it. <laughs> you look upon my works in despair, you mighty. I swear I knew that quote at one point. Ugh, I can't do this right now. I'm late enough as it is. I pick the least crowded hub walkway and amble forwards. Flipping further through the pamphlet, I see some fun activities I could attend later. There's a game night, a club fair, and a mixer of some kind. I can't wait to not go to any of those. Damn it, no, 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 no. I should go, I, I guess. I was fucking miserable at that last college, and it was probably for this reason. I really need to try this time. I'll... I'll see what I can do. If I end up crawling back to my room, well... Uh... Solitude sometimes is best, society. That's later, though. I've got to stop getting distracted. I have to class to... I have class to be late, too. Looking at one of the buildings, I see some signs and start following them. I swear, any place this poorly laid out must really... must really want its students to be late. And who puts the dorms in the cafeteria on opposite ends of the campus? Not that I even had time for breakfast, but still... Uh, what am I even doing here? This is what, the third? No, the fourth time I've managed to get into some random college? I feel less and less confident I'll stick around long enough to graduate. Hell, at this point I'm worried I won't last a semester after getting another job. And my, well, well my less than stellar work ethic. And how is a half-baked literature degree going to do me any good anyways? I knew I should have tried harder and like applied myself and... <sighs> Never mind, now I just sound like dad. I wonder if I... if I should have texted them. I forgot with how everything went these past few days. They dropped me off and just kinda just... Well, I'm sure they're home now, I'll just call them later. Still, sometimes I wonder if I should just stop and... Oof! In my senseless pondering and blind meandering, I accidentally bumped into a building that looked shockingly close to the one of little, uh, little of the little drawings on my map. <sighs> I do a double take just to make sure. Oh, well, I guess I did end up finding the right building. Sure sticks out way more now that I've actually seen it. The building in question is the newest on campus, and despite looking ancient, it's apparently some huge new science department. I heard it's, a, I heard it's been a big draw for the school, mainly for the labs or something, and the interior is supposed to be in stark contrast to the exterior. Something about finding their inner meaning in all things, or whatever. I'm, of course, just here for the one of the lecture halls. I guess even the lowly English majors are allowed in, if we stay in line. <laughs> I won't complain, though. The rest of the campus is a bit more run down than I'm used to anyways. I saw some buildings during orientation that didn't even have air conditioning. Yeah, I'm dreading having classes in those. Okay, that's enough staring at the building. I should actually get inside before I'm too late. Although, I find myself unable to move. I end up just standing off to the side in the shade of some old trees. Am I really doing this? Looks like an y'all. It's coffee time, because it's in the morning. Oh, God, that's so good. We're drinking a Sumatra this morning. Anyway. Dejectedly, I inspect the little map with its embarrassing mascot and colorful logos. Go, Bulldogs! 
or whatever. I feel out of place even though I've been through this so many times. First day jitters, I guess. But when you think it would be better and I'd feel less nervous, it doesn't, and it feels more pointless. I wish I could just stop, maybe find something I was good at, stick with it. I've been dragging this major around like a ball and chain for so long, and it's gotten me nothing. Three failed attempts later, and yet, what else do I have to crawl back to? My retail job? An empty bedroom in my hometown? Everyone I know has already moved away. Except me. But I don't have a better answer. Nor do I have the drive or the capital to do anything else but keep whatever this is up. I guess I best just get used to it, unless I just get on with it. I'm not even going on to the I'm not even going to last a day at this rate. God, being a junior at 25 is so embarrassing. At this rate, I won't graduate till I'm 30. I huff and puff, but once my little tirade is over, I move along. I finally find the front doors and head up the small staircase inside. Seems quiet. Maybe I missed the class rush. I ponder hopefully. I ponder hopefully as I reach the hall doors. Turns out I was not so lucky. I open them to see a mess of people headed every which way. Too many people, in fact. Oh man, I didn't even know this place even had so many. I even had this many students. Where were all of you at orientation? I try to head inside, but almost get knocked over by someone barging through. Oof! Hey! I look back in there, but they're already gone. Hm, <laughs> jackass. The last class must have just gotten out. This sucks. I've never been good with crowds, but even though I've been told I blend into them quite well. I'm not really sure that I was, that was a compliment in retrospect. Oh well. Getting a bit further into the building, I realize this may be a bit more than I had anticipated. Maybe I should try to find an empty hallway or just anywhere I could be alone for, for a second. Scouring the halls, I can feel my skin writhe as my eyes are unintentionally drawn to me. As eyes are intentionally drawn to me. I know I'm not being stared at, but it feels like I'm being stared at. I see it. A perfect place to be off to the side and just take a breather. I manage to slip through the crowd and duck behind some awkwardly placed lockers at the end of one of the halls. Sp sports ball! Phew! Salvation! In the form of a really weird nook? Eh, not the weirdest place I've had a panic attack. At least I can be alone here for a second. I'm definitely starting to feel a bit jittery. Three. Oh! Whoa, what the hell? Oh wow, this is- oh my god! Holy fuck, this is well done! I feel like I'm being trapped. Watched. Two. Damn, this is cool! Did it suddenly get colder in here? <clears throat> Surely I'm just... <clears throat> Are you sure, sir? Initiating sequence. Whoa. This is crazy. currently. That was incredible. Holy shit. One second, y'all. I need to drink some coffee. That was, that was amazing. Did the hallway change when I wasn't looking? I guess I must have been so distracted trying to get away from that crowd that I didn't notice I walked into the labs. Great. I'm just lost again. Hmm. Damn. I really should have had breakfast. I feel super lightheaded. Hopefully I'll have time after class to get something. Surely there's a cafe or something nearby. I start heading down the hallway, my little map still in hand. It's slightly weathered from me grasping it so hard. The poor little mascot drawing is all crumbled now. I probably shouldn't destroy this thing. Might be the only way I can get back to my dorm. <laughs> I slip it into my pocket as I come to a corner. It's really quiet all of a sudden. I guess everyone is in class already. Everyone except me. I'm late to my first class. Can't say it's the first time either. I really need to get better at managing my time. Not a great way to make first impressions at all. Trying to get trying to get my bearings, I check out the nearest door. I know I know I'm looking for room 240L. Uh, and I know that this looks like gibberish. I'm no expert, but I don't even think this is a language. Oh, you know, this is the science department. 
Maybe they have, like, fun names for the classrooms or something and use symbols instead. Hey, that's kind of cool, actually. Shame, shame I never got in, never, shame I'd never get into a science major. It's literature bust for me. <laughs> uh, oh man, it's a bust, isn't it? I just stand lifelessly for a few seconds before shaking it off and reaching for the door handle, only to realize there isn't one. Oh, wow, they really did go all out, huh? Uh, oh, I know. I pull out my student ID card and try touching it to the pad a few times. Nothing happens. And I up the card reader and see if there's any way to swipe or insert my ID, even if a few inquisitory pokes in the process. Nothing. Hmm. Uh, well, no harm in knocking, I guess. I raise my hand and before it even reaches, the door slides open. Oh. Well, hello there. I'm a bit shocked, but also, damn, that was cool. I hope the literature department is half as good as this. I peek inside and some students are standing around a table. All in huge white lab coats, looking very proper and clean. I don't think they heard the door open. I must be really busy doing science-y stuff. I gather the courage I need to speak up. Hi there, guys. Uh, I'm a bit lost. Mind telling me where room 240L is? First day and all. <laughs> Uh-oh. Your ears prick up. Wait. What? Ears? Oh. As they turned to me, they were much larger than I thought they'd be. Also, they look like dogs. Does this school have a drama club? I must use this room for costumes or something. Yeah. I just really, just, just really, really nice costumes. With realistic fur. Moving eyes. They're staring at me. I snap out of it. I don't like this anymore. I think I'm gonna go anywhere but here. <laughs> um. Bye. I duck around the corner and start power walking the opposite direction. Everyone can only be described as barking behind me. My sneakers are thundering on the hard metal floor. A am I running? And when did I start running? I'm not stopping now. The hallways all look the same. Did they always look the same? No, I I'm sure they didn't. Uh, where are the windows? Uh, where are the bad motivational posters? I don't think I'm in the labs anymore. Oh! Whirling around the nearest corner, I bump into someone. Or rather, something. And I, I think I knocked them over. I gather my myself for a moment before looking down at them. If the phrase deer in the headlights ever meant anything to me, this is it. I think the time has stopped. I might have skipped breakfast and I might get a bit lightheaded, but I'm not delusional. This is a, that is a dog in a lab coat. Our eyes meet and I realize they're staring at me, returning my stunned expression. This can't be real. My heartbeat reminds me time stops for no one and I dash off in the other direction. From behind me I hear a shaking what? It's enough to almost stop me in my tracks. Did that thing just talk to me? Did I understand it? No. 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 Just just keep running. The adrenaline in my veins is allowing me to sprint far more than I usually do. Morning jogs be damned, I'm running for my life! Maybe? As if things could get worse, red lights paint every inch of the hallways and alarms blare overhead. I have a sinking feeling those are for me. If I wasn't panicking earlier, I am now. I really don't think this is the labs anymore. Hell, I don't know where I am. I turn a corner and see some more of those things looking looking around. I try to sneak pa sneak a peek at them. They seem to be talking, but I can't hear them over the alarm. They've forgotten the lab coach and are wearing sleek outfits with a uniform jacket. If the jacket wasn't enough to clue me in on what their jobs might be, the weapons they're carrying sure do. One's brandishing a worrying-looking baton while the others have guns of some kind. My heart rate spikes. This can't be it. I can't be here. This can't be real. Whilst panicking, I notice one of the walls has a panel removed. M maybe for maintenance or something. It doesn't matter. And I don't care. I decide to make a dash for it. I hear someone- I hear some barking behind me. I think they heard me or saw me. It doesn't matter. There's enough room to where I can crawl through. Anything is better than this. I hear footsteps pounding behind me. They definitely saw me. I try to quickly duck into the opening, but a claw- but a clawed hand- a paw? Reaches in and grabs at me. Come here! It grabs furiously before nicking my left arm with its claws. I, I went- I think it got me. I think I scream. But in a haze, I can't tell. In its fury, it grabs one of my backpack straps, yanking me back a bit. The grip is far too strong to break free from. I, I managed to wriggle out of the strap, my straps, and get into the small tunnel before they can recover. I really hope they can't follow me in here. I don't dare turn back and check. I dodge under narrow pipes and around a corner into a barely lit claustrophobic hallway. The hallway gives it too much credit. This is only an intentional crack in the wall, but it's enough. I shimmy forward, hoping with every step I can find my way back from this madness, out of this rabbit hole, or whatever. 
It's a tight squeeze to get through the mess of pipes and cables parading as a hallway. I winced as I breached the other side, reaching to reaching to my arm only to find my shirt snagged on a pipe with a torn left sleeve. There's also some weird red oil on it, and and on the pipes I passed. Oh no. I'm just being daft. I must have cut myself on the pipes. The guards definitely didn't have claws, and they definitely are giant dogs. Yeah, yeah, no, th this is just fatigue. I'm just imagining it. I must have wandered off into some still underdevelopment part of the new building, and got chased off by the guards. And now I'm in the hall, the walls, bleeding, uh, trapped like a rat. Well, I I'm not going back, that's for sure. Uh, while this moment, of re while this moment's respite does allow me to clear my head, it also clears some of the adrenaline from my system, and the pain comes back. <sighs> How damn it! I clasp my hand to my arm where the cuts are and press tight. I think you're supposed to do something like that. We're close enough for now. As I do, I hear something akin to grumbling behind me. My eyes shoot open. Realizing I hadn't checked my surroundings before my little pause, I whip my head around and examine the rest of the hallway. After my eyes adjust to the darkness, I see something. Someone. Sitting on some metal jutting out of the wall. It's hard to make out, and I decide to get closer. I shouldn't have. Oh. It does no good for my psyche to see that, to see that this is... In fact, a dog in human clothes. Despite my panic, I take a second to look them over. I'm trying to convince myself they're fake. That it's just a suit. Anything! In my inspection- Oh! Alright guys and gals, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Wow, this, gets, this is game is nuts. Beautiful illustrations. It's pretty fucking amazing animated sequences. That would be impressed, y'all. Anyway, y'all, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks, or if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye